This is the second stream I did with Dart Zone. The contest in this stream is still ongoing. You really should check out Dart Zone Blasters on TikTok. They have prizes, giveaways, etc. You should follow me on TikTok too. I hope you enjoy this stream. Streams are never quite as good after the fact, but I know some of you like to listen along. So here it is. As I mentioned last time, in future, I'll try to record the chat as it's happening so that we're actually seeing all the replies and comments as well. Hey everybody, I am going live here in a few minutes with Dart Zone. So I just wanted to hop on, say hello. I have my coffee here and we'll be chatting about a few different surprise Dart Zone blasters. And we may take a look at some, some mods and some things that I've been working on. We'll chat with Derek, see what they've been up to. And it should be a good time. Have a few people joining the joining the stream. That's very cool. Nice to see. Definitely nice to see people popping up and popping in. Uh, I was actually just before kind of starting this little uh, pre Dart Zone hang stream. Uh, I was just uh, oh here we go. Invite Dart Zone Blasters to go live together. Boom. Uh, before starting this up, I was actually just playing around doing some modding on my Mark III. Uh, I had kind of said before that uh, the Mark III isn't something that I need to mod, but you know what? Hey, I ended up doing a little bit to it anyway. Hello, I see a Dart Zone logo down there. I don't see people yet. Oh, you can tell. You can tell that I stream on TikTok all the time. I do not. Right. I stream mostly on YouTube, but I'm getting the hang of it slowly. Hey, Derek. Hey, hey, what's going on? Not too much. How are you? I'm good. How about yourself? I'm good. I'm good. You got some, oh, you're outside again. You got some lights set up? I do. Here, I, I got a little bit different setup this time. Let's see here. Um, so we have the, I don't know if it's going to let me zoom in. Maybe not, but I got light. Nice. Oh, I hear you. I don't see you. There you are. Oh, yeah, there's the light. Nice. And then we the have our new target. Yeah, and then we have our new dart zone uh, target there. Oh. It's a little pop-up target. It's pretty nice. No more chasing darts. Oh, that's awesome. That is always the dream to not have to chase. Weird signal trouble on my end. Hopefully, hopefully I'm pretty smooth in the in the chat. I'm connected a new way to try to have better signal. And whenever you try something new, well, you know what happens. Right. I know going live is still a learning curve for me as well. Well, I'm down I'm down in my basement, which kills all cell signal and everything like that. And I used to just share a connection from my laptop to my phone. And that just it, in a in a phone update that just stopped working. So now I'm yeah, now I have to gen I have to make a, a hotspot on my laptop and join that on my phone anyway. Whatever. As long as you can hear me, we're fine. Right. Uh, well, hey, hey, Wolf. Good to see you. Jacques the Kangaroo sent 201 lights. That we, we could use them. Join the live. What blast you got there? Uh, I was just saying, I, I actually, I, last time we chatted, I was talking about how I haven't really done any modding to uh, any of my Dart Zone blasters, but I have actually been playing around with this one, and I changed out the pusher motor in it, which, uh, which, yeah. So now, now I, I have a new motor in there, but now it was it was too fast. Oh really? So I'm 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 tinkering. This is very, it's it's very it's it's the live result, but it is. It it definitely it definitely is different than it than it was, but I'm yeah. I'm, I'm that sounds right. like eight rounds per second, maybe six to eight rounds per second. 
maybe maybe 10 so i put a i put a kraken motor in there that wolf is saying how fast is too fast so the problem is i actually really like i really like the the fps performance of its stock i just wanted i know i just wanted a tiny bit more of a faster uh full auto and the problem is i've made it too fast for the stock flywheel so i'm gonna i'm gonna put in what's called a pwm not to get too too uh too fancy in the in the in our casual hang here but i'm gonna put in something that i can turn down turn down the voltage that's going to the pusher because it's going so fast that the that it's 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 not working like it should i actually have a i actually have a nine a 9.6 volt uh nickel metal hydride battery in this right now instead of a lipo and it is it's pretty it's pretty snappy and it's probably shoving out 10 darts a second that's so, great i find it interesting no i i do too i mean especially that's a mark three so um we're all about listening to the mods for that thing yeah it's pretty cool i out of darts out of darts did a good overview uh you know a good overview on you know what uh well, it's funny. I always get people asking when I post things about mods, they'll say, uh, they'll say, Hey, uh, you know, will this harm my blaster? And I always say, yeah, there's a good chance that it will. As soon as you do anything, you have to be comfortable with the fact that you could break it. You know, if, uh, oh, yeah, if you have one blaster and it is special to you, don't mod it because <laughs> it could always break. Yeah, definitely. Don't do that. You got to so, get the, uh... I'm in a the facebook marketplace blasters that's right that's right uh let's see i have one blaster running 2s 3s so far so far so good one blaster yeah i mean do you mean you have you're running it on you've ran it on both or i don't know i missed that it's hard to keep up with the conversations in the old uh in the old chat here nicholas says my old blaster died on 4s <laughs> yeah that'll that'll happen uh, also shredded the darts more than cheap them. That, that definitely can also happen, especially if you have flywheels in your blaster that are serrated, that have ridges on them for, for, for grip. That'll, that can tear your darts. If you go too high power, it's just, it'll, it'll, it'll shred them up for sure. But oh, anyway. Wi-Fi, it looks like Wi-Fi just joined. What's going on, brother? Oh, nice. Well, I, uh, I was working on videos today. Um, just a shout out to all the viewers right now. Big train horn. I don't know if you heard that. Um, so we're doing a giveaway. We're going to be giving a Tomcat uh, away November 2nd. So we'll, I'll be posting that video tomorrow. All you have to do is stitch it and show us your Halloween costume as we, I guess it wouldn't be stitch, stitch. It would be a duet as we shoot um, darts at you, <laughs> whatever your Halloween costume is. So, um we'll pick the we'll pick the winner november 2nd so be on the lookout for that if you're not following dart zone um uh, make sure to follow so you can stay stay up to date on that uh yeah we also I have, have a giveaway yeah. going with rifi i i definitely i definitely had a good time uh putting together some shots for that so i hope uh i, I will be very amused if i see a few of you fine people uh, duet that that would that would make my day yeah that was dark? it would be oh go ahead sorry i was just saying i saw dark star is just saying he's just starting his collection or recollecting and i always love to see people getting back into stuff i was sorry to interrupt i just thought that was i'm always pumped about that no for sure I, it's um <laughs> it's not the same as it used to be i mean it's a completely different thing it, it's a sport now versus you know, beating up on your little brother with a dart blaster. I mean, you can still do that, but but for sure. <laughs> with a lot more powerful uh, blasters. I, do I a costume? A yes. Yeah, I, I would say, you know, I would say if you can show up, I, I'd say extra points for costumes, wouldn't you? Absolutely. Um, my cr uh, criteria for winner is how how much are we going to laugh? That's going to be my thing. That's Whoever can make us laugh the most will get my vote. That's awesome. I don't know if you have anything specific or anything. Maybe do you have a favorite uh, movie character or anime character or something? Somebody can throw in some brownie points. 
uh, you know what? I, I, I'm very, I can be very easy. My inner child is very easy to please. I mean, I am in my, for younger viewers, I am in my early forties. So, I mean, if you're going, if you're going retro at all, that might, that may sway me, but I feel, I, I feel like, uh, I feel like nothing's off the table. Are we doing any giveaways? We're talking about a giveaway right now, yo, Jet. Um, tomorrow, I will be posting a video of uh, Anthony here and myself um, doing a little duet skit where we're fighting a monster or a Halloween costume. So all you have to do is duet it, and uh, we'll pick the winner on November 2nd. What phone do you guys use to record videos? I have an Android 21 Ultra. And I'm on an iPhone 12. I actually do... Uh... I do all my stuff for, it's not very fancy. Uh, I get asked a lot about what I use for recording and for audio. And uh, oddly enough, I, I'm a photographer, video guy, designer professionally. Uh, and when I do all of this stuff, I kind of don't want to be professional. So I use my iPhone 12 for pretty much everything. And for, for shorts or TikToks, I purposefully do all the editing on my phone. If I can't do it on my phone, I don't tend to do it not that that's the right way it's just a thing that i've done so that it doesn't feel like work because i want it to be i want it to be fun so yeah see jet if you ordered an iphone 14 pro like that's kind of the cool thing that's kind of anything you need if you want to do some videos or anything like even even at work we use iphones sometimes for for footage that we use on tv so it's it's kind of crazy how far all that's come yeah i like to do everything on my phone as much as i can and then uh I'm on the computer a lot too, though, for other things. But anything long form, I do, I do on a on a on a laptop as well. It's just more like the the shorts. I just try to keep. I just try. I'm keeping it simple for my own sanity. To tell you the truth, the TikTok platform on the computer is not as user friendly either. <laughs> no, definitely not. TikTok wants you doing stuff on uh, on your phone for sure. Yeah, definitely. Well, um, this isn't a dart blaster but we've got our gel bead blasters here on the table oh nice um, we have the spectrum here but i don't know if uh have you got a hold of our gel blaster not not yet not not yet well let me just give you a little taste of what this bad boy can do all right sounds good So you can pick this up at Walmart. Uh, pretty crazy, man. It's like eight to 10 rounds per second, 200 plus FPS. Yeah, they're definitely they're definitely a lot of they're definitely a lot of fun for for that stuff. And it's kind of nice when you're firing stuff out into the lawn, you don't have to go get anything. Yeah, I know nice. my kids are big fans of of that. Yeah, it's definitely a growing uh growing market for sure. I got about a I got a bucket over here of I think what 50,000 gel beads. <laughs> right. It's crazy. The, I'm trying uh, to figure I'm trying to figure out. I want. I want to turn my where I. I think I st where I started the live. I'm trying to figure out where to turn. I want to turn my camera so I could show the target. So if you hit camera, it'll pop up a little thing or enhance. I think it is for yours. Can you hit it? Oh my god! Enhance. Enhance. Oh, there it is. Wow. I'm. Uh, I'm living my boomer life right now. This is embarrassing here. All right. You guys can see that tar that target. So I don't I don't have any I don't have a I don't have that gel blaster. But I, I was just saying for people just joining, uh, I am messing around a little bit with. Uh, I had said before that I haven't really done a lot of modding to my dart zone stuff because I kind of like how it is stock. I did do a little mod to the pusher on this one, so it's actually I'm still tinkering with it. Uh, the pusher's too fast, uh, but this is on a nine volt nickel metal hydride. So I definitely spiced it up a little bit. So I'm I'm still I'm still tweaking that. So 
if anyone's interested in where that little project goes, uh, I'll be I'll be updating on TikTok and YouTube for for that. I'm probably going to have to turn down the power on my uh, on my pusher motor. Ah, go bigger. <laughs> yeah, it was. Uh, it Let's was see how like, fast you can get it up to. It was basically like a drag car. Uh, just it was just going too too fast. Just because I if I update if I change the motors in the flywheels, it would keep up. But it's yeah. I try to I try to keep. I don't know. I like to tinker around and see what level I like to mod things at. I may have just ordered uh, a wholesale box of motors, so I might be. I might be doing a lot more, a lot more motor swaps. My brother did a, a mod on the MK3 from Out of Darts, um, just upgrading the flywheel portion. Yep. I'm pretty sure it took it up close to 200. Yeah, yeah. I, I might end up, I might end up doing that now that I put a motor in the pusher. I may put, especially just to make it keep up with the, the one point maybe to keep it, make it keep up with the 1.2 where I am kind of a flywheel guy, but I, I play, I play so much close quarter stuff when I do poke around that I can't go too crazy. Yeah. Um, having high FPS kind of limits on what games you have, but nobody limits your rate of fire. So yeah, you're, you're good sure. on that one. Yeah. That's, that's kind of what my, see if I can find, I don't know. People, if people aren't interested, they can, they can definitely say, but I'm going to put, there's lots of room in the battery compartment. I'm going to put one of these in and I'm going to run the current for the pusher motor through this. This is a called a PWM. You can turn this and it changes without, without going into it. It basically changes how much power is getting to the pusher motor. So I can turn it down until it's not skipping darts on my stock and, and keep using my stock flywheels. Cause that's all I really want to do. I want a stock Mark three that can fire a little bit faster on full auto. Are you going to put that knob on the outside or are you going to make it where you have to take the battery thing off? Uh, I think I think just for testing, I'll put it in the battery tray. And then if I kind of like that, I'll make it come out, to, come out of the side or I'll upgrade the motors for the flywheels. And then I'll put two knobs and I'll cut them through the outside so I can adjust FPS and adjust rate of fire. That way, that would make it something that I could play with kids, like turn it way down. Because what I've actually done with my Mark III, like what I did for End War, is I just put two dummy batteries in and ran it on six AA, and it took the FPS down to 100. So it was yeah. great. Like I could, I could use a blaster I really like, and and End War is capped at 130. So you know you don't uh, you don't really need you don't if you've never done HBZ you don't you don't need a ton of FPS for HBZ. You you actually I would argue if you go even like sticking to the 130 line. You, you don't need to. You can go a little lower because you, so, you're 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 doing everything at close quarters. My opinion. So I've, I've never played HBZ. I, I know it stands for humans versus zombies, right? Yeah. And then end war is just a generic term for the event. So end war is, and I'm gonna I'm gonna be talking here, and I'm definitely not an ex I've only been to two HBZs. I'm just kind of making my way down to events. Uh, this year, but End War is kind of like the big one that it happens every year. I think it didn't have a couple because of the pandemic, uh, but that's the one that so End War is kind of an annual thing. And yeah, for HBZ, you're just basically the fun thing about that one is there's like 500 people, so that's definitely a cool one to go to because by the, if you manage to survive a bit, there's just so many people who are out to get you that it's a lot of action and a lot of fun. You know that was. Uh, it was it was it was a pretty good time. It, it it had it had a few hitches this year, as I'm sure there's people on the chat would would probably say as well. But it uh, it still for me it was it was an awesome experience. Well, there's one here in Maryland going uh, November fifth that I'll be attending, so I'm I'm excited to experience that. I was at uh, the end war in Rochester. I just didn't take part in it. I just walked around right. and kind of looked. Well, we were saying we probably we probably interacted because i was at the dart zone booth like i was trying out different blasters we may you know you may have handed me a blaster and we we didn't know it i so. was yeah I, I was man in the gel zone side of things the pulsar and the nebula so i don't know if you tinkered with those but i was on that side yeah i tried it really really blue it was busy like, like i feel like people were kind of it was easy to just walk up yourself and grab the 
like the 1.2 and the 2.1. Uh, so like I, I didn't, I, I very briefly tried a gel blast, but there was just a bit of a lineup. There were a bunch of kids. I didn't want to hold it up. Right. Definitely. No, I understand. Definitely cool. I just saw, um, I just saw a note about a, a half, a half length drum. There's actually a, I forget the name of the designer. That's awful of me. I can't remember. But there is, there are people working on half length, half length drums. I think that that would be a cool, and and I think like they mean like a spring loaded drum because obviously Dart Zone has like the tomahawk and the, the tomahawk and the the tomcat and stuff. But like a spring a spring drum that would be that would be cool. Yeah, I uh, I'm on the social media side of things, so I don't have the ability to say if we're making <laughs> that or not. But I agree that that would be a good item. I just uh-huh. saw a note. What is a good beginner FPS counter for cheap? Uh, I mean, uh, I'm on the Dark Zone stream, and I want to be respectful. But if you're talking cheap, like there's a there's a modulus uh, there's a modulus uh, chronograph that plugs on N Strike. Uh, I have one. It's not. It's definitely not super accurate. I'm gonna see if I can reach and grab it here. If you're just talking a generic chronograph, if you just go on Amazon and type in chronograph, they all do s- pretty much the same thing. But if you want one that attaches, yeah. Yeah, like this one, this one, like this, you know, this is a Nerf one and it will go on the barrels, but it's not super accurate. Like, so like if you're saying for cheap, that could be an option, but it's pretty hard to actually do reviews or like really have, I mean, it's, it's an idea, I guess, but I, I use a, a Caldwell, uh, like you'd recognize it probably if you saw it. It's just like a big. Well, actually, I can. I guess I can show it. Why? Why talk as if I cannot show it here? Put my camera. There, in amongst my mess, you can see my green, my green chronograph over there, uh, as yeah. well as my shameful floor <laughs> of unorganized blasters that I got on a thrift. Yeah, that oh, one that one that you have there's a good one. Um I have a really really cheap one that I got off Amazon. Um but I don't really have to chronograph our blasters or whatnot. But if you if you want to if you go on Amazon that you can just type them in. Like I said they all do pretty much the same thing. For sure. I I like the one I I do like the one that uh I'm trying to flip my camera again. I do like the one that I have just because you can kind of fire anything over it. Uh, because it's like if you get the ones that are for airsoft that are you know just have the hole it it gets really hard to do anything other than a regular dart like if you wanted to even like you know like a faux bow with like foam or plastic arrows you can do that too so you can pretty much do anything so if you're it depends on what you're doing like if you thought hey i want to do a youtube thing or i want to do a tiktok thing and i want to know accurate fps it can be worth a good one but not but yeah, you can get cheap ones as well if you're just kind of trying to gauge how your builds are going. Yeah, yours is yours is nice. Uh, we use that for like an actual bow and arrow, like when you're testing out a new bow. Um, and I think you can shoot yeah. an actual rifle through that one as well. I'm not sure. Uh, I th- yeah, I think I think it's like real deal for everything. I see a couple things in the chat. Vulcan modded Vulcan. My the Vulcan the Vulcan I was working on is still. It's still a part, uh, and I actually stole some parts out of it for uh, my little uh, tinkering uh, tinkering project where I'm making that uh, blaster. Um, at some point in future, I will have to finish. I'm kind of, you can tell that I'm like at a certain point with things because now I have multiple ongoing projects at the same time, and that's making, that's never a good idea because you just get distracted and you're like, ooh what's that? Like I'm working on this Mark three mod and I have like two other things I'm working on, but eh, it's my hobby. <laughs> just to chime back in there, anybody that just joined, we're going to be doing a giveaway um, starting tomorrow. We'll post a video of myself and Anthony here uh, attacking a monster. You guys being the monster. Um, all you need to do is duet it with your Halloween costume, and then we'll pick the winner on uh, November second. And I will be posting that tomorrow, so be sure to follow Dart Zone uh, so you can catch that. I'm sure Anthony will repost it, but uh, you want to be up to date on all of our giveaways. We're trying to give something away every week. 
I'm pretty, I'm pretty pumped to see what people do. I'm, uh, I have, I have my acting on to the best of my ability. Well, I'm, uh, I'm giving it everything I have to try to stop this monster that uh, would do the duet. So we'll see, we'll see how it goes. Yeah, we'll have to. My, my acting, I don't think is going to be at your level, but I'll try. <laughs> it's just a, it's a lot of just a lot of wide eyes. I, I did so I do a lot of filming really late at night. So like last night, I. Uh, Last night, I actually sent Derek a note saying, I don't think I'll be able to send a video tonight. I'm just kind of tired and had kind of a busy day. And then I felt bad, so I did it anyway. So I was down here at like, I don't know, midnight down in my basement screaming while, uh, <laughs> sc screaming while firing this old Dart Zone <laughs> minigun at a camera. Luckily, my family is pretty used to weird noises coming out of the basement here. I, yeah, I haven't filmed uh, filmed my portion yet, but I did film one for, we're doing another giveaway, not to um, step on Maritime's channel here, but we have one pinned on our channel for RyFi's channel. We're doing a giveaway for a dictator. So check that out as well. Yeah. Um, we have, I have two 2.1s here. Oh, that's one of them. I don't know if you, do you have the 2.1? Uh, I actually have a 2.1 that uh, I, I was borrowed from a friend of mine. So I am 2.1 enabled. It's pretty nice. nice. They're pretty nice. I love them, man. Like, you talk about a high FPS sidearm. This is your bread and butter. Yeah, it's 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 really good. It's funny. There's a lot of uh, there's kind of a lot of back and forth. It's interesting because normally when you have a new version of something, it's like clear in a way. I think it's like it's clear in a way you get one over the other. I think it's actually kind of a neat and good thing that like people are still kind of liking liking the, you know, the, the Mark II for certain things. But I do. I mean, I have to say the more I use this, having the mags is really is really really nice the performance is really good so yeah I'm a, I'm a pretty big pretty big fan so far I'm and then you have the to, speed loader uh, as well <laughs> Jet's saying he needs an arc 2.1 but his mom won't let him spend any more money this month I I, I there are t there are days where I wish my mom would step in and be like hey you don't need you don't need any more blasters you need to you need to calm down there's that, yeah, nothing, wrong, wrong. nothing wrong with that. When you have adult money, right? That's the joke. Once you have adult yeah. money, you buy too many kid things. Oh, but you can never yeah, have enough blasters. As long as your blasters well, are uh, different categories, right? You got a sidearm and a full auto and a springer. Then you can justify it. I might, I might have a lot of duplication, too. Oh... Hopefully, I'm not deafening people. Oh, somehow I ricocheted two two targets with one dart trick shot. The two point one. Pretend is, I did that on purpose. Is a beast. Yeah, it's pretty great. There we go. Still learning how to still learning how to fire it in sight down it. A little bit different with the different barrel length or a different length blaster than the than the two i feel like i'm probably right. still a little bit better shot with the two yeah it's a it's a little bigger a little bit different let me load up mine here. yeah the, 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 the... We're, we're about 20 feet is that what you said yeah I'm, I'm about 20 feet i'm here in my here in my basement i think i'm about 40 feet It's pretty pretty easy plinking at <laughs> twenty feet. I'll definitely yeah. admit. I'll even back up. This is this is probably fifty feet. I hit the first one. There we go. If you guys I just need a if you guys need a target, we started selling these things now. They're super nice. It'll catch it's had a little dangly vinyl. 
So it catches your darts. Dump it back into your kit instead of uh, chasing them around the yard. Wow, that's cool. You need a you need a good dart catcher. If you're, you're going to get in this game, you got to have a good dart catcher. Oh, for sure. Otherwise, you're picking them up everywhere. And like I always say, um, the lawnmower always wins. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I got one shot left. I better, I better get rid of that. Oh, yeah. I can't leave it loaded. You can go to uh, dartzoneblasters.com. It's on there, as well as Amazon. You were saying, too, about uh, that you have a contest going with, with Ryfi Channel for the Dictator. The Dictator yeah, we're good. looks pretty sweet. I've def definitely heard a lot of good things about that one. I'm looking forward to getting my hands on on that one. I have a I have a Conquest Pro, which kind of has a little bit of that that rear mag-loading action, but it looks looks like a good one. Yeah, we have the Dictator. If you haven't seen the video, um, Ryan does a really cool reload spin. I can't do it. I'm not as slick as him, but it looks really good. But, yeah, the Dictator, it's like a super conquest. That's cool. I'm going to have to check that out. I, I am a, I, I'm usually pretty up to date on uh, on his videos. I've been watching the the. On on the ion fire with uh, 8700 attachments but i somehow missed i might have missed the dictator ones i'll have to go check it out well it's on it's on our channel but he filmed it so you'll have to go to dart zone to catch uh, it oh okay i'm gonna have to scan i'll have to go sc i'll go I'll have to go scan back scan back a little yeah. further i have it pinned ever, at the top so if from your spicy chip oh man spicy chip so Yes, I uh, I was miserable for about a, probably 45 minutes, and then uh, I had to take a nap. That's how bad it, it kicked my butt. But um, once I woke up, I was good. <laughs> I don't recommend anybody doing nice. that. <laughs> I have, yeah, I have two more. I bought four of them, um, expecting someone else to. I didn't. So if you watch the whole video, we played uh, with the Ranger. We played ball in a cup, and I put some money in uh, some cups, and then we had four chip cups. And somehow Lexi uh, made it out alive with no chip. So Dalton and I had to eat the chip. <laughs> nice. Super spicy. It wasn't bad. Like you chew Chewing it up, and then uh, once I swallowed it, that was game over. <laughs> uh, Mar maritime brews that's that's a that's a friend of mine he wants to see me do the chip challenge i'll do the chip challenge uh my friend you'll just have to come over here and we'll we'll do the chip challenge together uh d is he near you yeah he's actually he's actually in my city he has uh he does uh he does a bunch of uh beer reviews and different different things around the maritimes so we uh we actually did a stream one time as maritime foam and maritime brews as a a little uh, a little side side stream is a good time. Listen, I'll I'll mail you two chips right now. If he, he says deal, <laughs> done. I'll mail them, and then you get to do it on Sweet. the live, and we'll see how how well you talk. Oh, uh, I'm 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 gonna have to start drawing towels already. I'm just gonna be, I'm just gonna be in rough shape. It's I mean, pretty it's pretty spicy. <laughs> That is a good question. How did you get the name Maritime Foam? Ah, uh, so well, uh, you know what? I kind of, uh, I kind of deliberated for for a while about whether to do like to just do the channel as my name or to do it as a as a name thing. And ultimately, I want I did it as a name thing just in case I was doing, I don't know, just for in case I was doing parties or just for being able to do. I don't know. I just thought it'd be fun to kind of name the channel. And I didn't want to call it, you know, I didn't want to call it, there, there's some other, you know, there's some other channels out there that have Nerf in the name, and I didn't want to do that. I wanted to keep it broader, you know, for talking about, so when I'm talking about Dart Zone, or talking about Adventure Force stuff, or 
Busby or whoever. Uh, so I, and I wanted to do something kind of Canadian and yeah, just played around with a bunch of names and then just ended up, there's a lot of stuff around here. I mean, I'm in the Maritimes of Canada. That's the, the group of provinces where I live is the Maritimes. Oh, I think I lost, I think I lost our sound. Uh, I'll invite him back. But anyway, I, yeah, I basically just kind of named it after the region where I'm from. Foam seemed, foam seemed appropriate. And, and there we go. So maritime foam works out pretty well, uh, except sometimes in Google results, it does get mixed up with like people who do spray foam insulation. I do have a little bit of competition with, uh, with spray foam insulators in my, in my region. And it's funny. I actually, I actually saw, uh, every once in a while I follow American foam, his YouTube channel. I'm a big, big fan of his stuff. And every once in a while on Instagram, I'll see an ad for American foam and it's like memory foam. And I'll think, is he doing a promo for mattresses? And then I realize it's not him. So I think any of us with that foam in the name, that can be tricky. I don't know if I got them back or not. Weird. Uh, hmm. Let me try to add them again. See if we can get Derek back. There you go. There we Lost go. Ya. We got kicked for a second. I feel like you were, I was taking too long to tell my maritime foam story. And you're like, I got to go. That's it. Um, That's what I, it was. I, Two, no dart. Uh, there's not enough dart blasters going on. We got to, got to go. <laughs> I, I was just saying that like, the only, the only problem with, with my name is uh, every once in a while, if you're Googling stuff, you'll see things for spray foam insulation. Oh yeah. Cause it's maritime foam. <laughs> and I was joking that I follow American foam uh, on YouTube. Um, you know, I've been watching his stuff for a long time. And I got a, an Instagram post one time for American foam about like a mattress. And I thought, is he doing a promo for a mattress? And realized, no, it's it's a company called American foam that has, does foam mattresses. So that's that's you got that's the only problem with foam, I guess. Yeah, I'm, but I guess that's true. But it wouldn't hurt if there was a company out there called Maritime Foam and then people found you by accident. <laughs> that's right that's right if they're they're looking for spray foam insulation or maybe they're looking for some hobby blasters that's right i mean same category right that's all it's all yeah so just to throw it back out there we're going to be posting a uh, a video anthony and i holding a contest for a tomcat uh we'll decide the winner on november 2nd um all you have to do is duet it with your Halloween costume as we fire darts at you. We're both going to be ah! to the left, and then you get to show us your acting skills as we defeat you, but maybe we don't. <laughs> it's hard. To, it's hard to say. Uh, yeah, no, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be pumped. Uh, I'm sure people will do pretty, pretty good, pro pretty good prize on the line. So I'm sure, I'm sure we'll get some people entering. And honestly. If you enter a contest like this, you have some pretty good, you have some pretty good odds, better odds than the lottery, you know? Oh, definitely. I, I mean, if, if 10 people do it, that's pretty good odds. Let's try to get a hundred. Really that's good. still good odds. <laughs> oh, getting a little better with this. Getting, getting used to the, getting used to the, the little bit longer trip down the barrel. There we go. That's nice. The front camera doesn't show stuff very well. We're also doing a giveaway for the dictator. It's on our channel. Look for the one for uh, right with Ryfi on it with Ryan. We're giving away a dictator uh, to duet that one or stitch that one. You just have to do a trick shot. Um, it depends. U.S. only. Uh, just depends where you are. It is hard to ship internationally, um, but we can we can work on it. How's your day? My day is great. How about you, Anthony? 
Not too bad. Not too bad. I actually have my my five year work anniversary thing uh, the other day, so they did a little bit of a celebration thing at work. That was kind of nice. It was uh, yeah, so it was a pretty good day. Can't complain. Then I come home. Yeah. I play with a bunch of uh, play with a bunch of toys. It's not not a bad life. <laughs> Yeah, I was going to say the same thing. My job is to uh, play with guard zone blasters all day, so I can't complain. No, that's that's pretty that's pretty good. Did you? I, I'm trying to remember. I just from when we were chatting before. Like, did you? Did you? Did you play? Like, did you have a lot many blasters kind of before doing the dart zone thing, or did it all kind of come together at once for for you for the most part? So it, it was all one big lump, and I was just at the right place at the right time. Um, but growing up, I had nerf blasters, um, back when we used the G word. Um, but yeah, they were nothing like this, you know, they'd be a little two dart springer or something, tiny little thing. And then, uh, once I got here, they started shipping me all our new blasters, the Tomcat MK3 2.1. And it's just like, what is this? This is, this is a sport. I played paintball growing up, and once I saw the qualifier four in the final, I was like, this is the new thing, man. It's Anybody can play it. You know, when you play paintball, that thing stings. It leaves welts, and now you're back to shooting foam at each other and having a good time. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> that, thanks, Maritime Bruce, for coming. He's loading in Overwatch 2. Hey, thanks, for, thanks for hanging out with us during your load time. I think that's, I think that's great. Yeah, I'll take I'm, it. I'm excited to see you eat the uh, the chip that I'm gonna send you guys. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm gonna hold into that. That should be that should be pretty good. What what was the first dart zone blaster you tried? Do you remember which one was kind of like the very first one where you're like, oh, what like for the either from the pro or the the max line? So I I, I actually saw to give a little insight. I actually got my hands on the MK2 before it was even named and done with. I just, uh, I didn't work for the company or anything. I just knew a guy that knew a guy. Um, so that That's was my cool. entry into this is crazy. Yeah, that's awesome. Wow, that's pretty cool. Are you going to make it down here for any events? I, I'm i still thinking about that one, the one on the the one on the the fifth I, I i don't know i think that's going to be a tricky one it's actually i was reminded that's also my anniversary so you know uh <laughs> we'll never say never but we'll it, it, it's hard it's hard to say we were, we were kind of talking last time i i did go on you know i have uh you know my between my partner and i we have a few kids and i did two all like two solo nerf focused blaster focused vacations this year so i really have nothing to complain about so if i i would like to make it to one more thing this year but if i if i don't i'll definitely be doing i'll definitely be going you know going somewhere in the spring uh probably hopefully somewhere down around the maryland area uh where they just have so much stuff going on uh, there's something every weekend there. yeah so every that weekend. would be yeah that'd be good That'd be pretty. That'd be pretty fun. So we're worst case. Worst case, I'll be doing stuff in the spring. And then, uh, you know, we were talking about it last time. We're uh, still kind of nailing down the opening date, but I'm going to have a place over the winter where I can I can host games and hopefully get a little bit of a recreation league going. You know, maybe do kind of an all ages one or a younger one, and do an adult one, and try to have uh, something either weekly or monthly or whatever. I'll kind of figure out the frequency, but I'm really excited about that just to have a space indoors. Uh, so it's basically going to be part of a board game cafe. There'll be a board game cafe and part of the area in that space will be dedicated to blasters and there will be pegboard walls and pegboard walls of blasters and stuff to play around with. And I'm going to be, you know, building some barriers and uh, making some little close quarter combat areas. So that should be pretty, that should be pretty fun. How big is the space? Like, could you do uh, like a, a pretty hefty tournament if you wanted? So it's interesting. So in the space itself, like if you did a, if you did kind of a, a takeover, like um, we're thinking of having some takeover nights because the board game cafe may not be open like every single night. So on the nights where would be slower for that, 
might be takeover nights where I do kind of league stuff. And using the whole space, it's definitely big enough that you could do you could do some pretty fun, I think, like, you know, five on five or, you know, maybe six on six and like not be too it, it would be getting pretty crap. I think like five on five would be kind of max for the space. It's it's broken up. It has some different rooms and everything too, which would be kind of fun. There's like already a half wall in one area of it. So I think it would lend itself pretty well. But there's also a big gym space in the it's actually in it's actually in a mall, like part of a part of a mall. And inside of that mall, there's kind of another bigger space that, you know, might be able to work something out to, you know, maybe maybe rent or do something with at some point, which would be fun. But if if I was ever going to do a bigger tournament, you know, if I'm dreaming big, big down the road, uh, there's an awesome facility in our city called the Fieldhouse, which is a big indoor soccer stadium uh, with, you know, it's all it has these netted in soccer fields that would be awesome for, you know, setting up on different fields and having like you could you could run a full tournament if you wanted uh, at a place like that. So, you know, definitely. That's, uh... definitely. Hey, all the geek. What we are just we're just chatting about all sorts of stuff. If if anyone is going to enter that uh, that that contest with, uh, you know, maybe doing a little bit of costume work, uh, I, I think all the geek needs the lowdown on the on the contest for sure so um anthony and i here are gonna post a video tomorrow on the dart zone channel of uh us fighting off a monster or something um all you have to do is duet it as we fling foam show us your acting skills um in your halloween costume or you know like i could do it with just my face because i'm ugly enough but um uh, yeah, so whoever makes us laugh the most or is the best actor will win a Tomcat. We'll decide that on November 2nd. Uh, Al, 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 I think you might have a couple costumes laying around, maybe, in your, in your, in your area. You, you might. You might. You might be able to find one costume piece, maybe. <laughs> if, if no one's familiar, Al the Geek makes some pretty gnarly blasters. Uh, he uses dart zone blasters, nerf blasters, everything, but he is, uh, he's definitely an artiste. Check him out. Yeah, if you absolutely. want some custom things made. Yeah. He's got some, he's one of the, uh, one of the early, one of the early celebrities that I was aware of in the, in the hobby community. I'd see all this crazy, uh, skull foam spike road warrior style stuff. And, uh, see this guy with, you know, given the evil eye, holding a bunch of big blasters with master keys. I'm like, that guy, that guy seems cool. I bet you he'd never be friends with a person like me. And <laughs> now, here we are, old pals. <laughs> Six of those pads. Wow. I, yeah, I, uh, I wasn't familiar with him. I was at FoamCon and I was, I just admired from a distance. I was like, man, those are some awesome looking blasters. And then it just so happened I got hired with Dart Zone and I went to one of these Maryland tournaments and he came and introduced himself. And I had just been talking about him two seconds prior, talking to somebody else about this guy that makes super awesome blasters. So uh, his ears must have been burning hearing me talk about him. <laughs> yeah. No, it was cool. We had a we had a good time hanging out uh, hanging out at End War. We let the uh, we let the younger and faster people uh, protect us as much as we could. Yeah, we were there for End War, and like we walked around the campus, and I think we were towards the end of it um, because you just saw herds of people chasing another herd, and it was uh, <laughs> yep. you you did see the younger guys running as fast as they can while the there was stragglers behind. Uh, you'll have to uh, you'll have to you'll have to give the HBZ thing a, a try sometime. It's pretty. It's definitely pretty fun. It's it's a it's a cool. It's definitely a cool experience. I'm excited. November, I get to go to uh, the November fifth one here in Maryland. Um, if anybody's listening, um, November fifth, uh, look for the uh, Maryland Nerf Herders or the Southern House of Maryland uh, group on. Uh, facebook and you can join they have an event almost every weekend that's right that one on the fifth is the battle the battle of endor or battle battle for endor or just endor you'll find it if you if you search for maryland and endor 
you will find it there. So something I really need, it's funny, like I've gone to two events now, but all I've done is HVZ. I actually haven't gone to another event where I'm shooting blasters at other people with blasters. I've done lots of that here, uh, you know, with, with friends and, you know, kind of running parties and stuff like that. But I, I'm both looking forward to and will be intimidated by like <laughs> whenever I get to something where I'm actually, you know, on a team and trying to take out another team. I'm sure I'll be, I'm sure that'll be a whole other learning curve to that too. So, but, but I want, I want to do it. I, I want to do it all. That's the problem. Yeah, that, that is a, there's so many events. Um, I'm based here in Maryland. I started looking at them and luckily, I mean, I got luck with the draw that there's so many here, but I've started spreading my, uh, my search further and further. And there's some in California and Washington and Colorado, but they all are on the same weekends. I'm like, I can't make them all. So next year, the, <laughs> the 2023 year, I'm going to have to spread it out, travel the whole country. No, that'd be cool. I mean, the pro, it was neat at the pro tour, like the teams from the pro tour, definitely lots of people from all over the place uh, coming for that. So pretty, pretty neat. I'm, uh, I'm working to get the, the next tournament going. Uh, we're doing our, our budget meetings and stuff right now. So I'm uh, drilling corporates or annoying corporates ear off about the tournament. Um, so we'll see when we get that going again. Um, and then we can all regroup and see what's going on. That's awesome. That'd be, that'd be cool. It'd be, it'd be good to see more for sure. I, I mean, I watched over the whole course of it. I watched quite, quite a bit of footage from, you know, between all the, between all the different, you know, all the different events and everything. So it was, yeah, it was, I don't know. It was fun to see that and just see, not, you know, people I didn't know super well, but maybe people I followed or whatever, talking about their experience or just even like showing footage from their trips <laughs> to go and play in tournaments. It was, it was cool. It was definitely a, a pretty uniting thing overall. Yeah, we had the, the live stream set up with multiple cameras. We got different angles, but it was cool to see the players camera angles as well. Um, they had a giant plexiglass wall that we weren't really able to film through. So um, getting a different angle was cool. And it definitely was, I mean, between qualifier four and then the finals, they, they traveled pretty much the, you know, East coast, but they, they were from all over. Yeah, for sure. I just noticed, uh, my pal, Matt, actually, he just said there's a, there's a paintball place, a city over from us that I've been meaning. It's the theme of the thing is all the things I've been meaning to do, but I've been meaning to talk to, there's a place that has, you know, they have dilapidated cars and like, a, you know, a gas pretend gas station and buildings. They do paintball. I really want to get in there sometime and do some nerf over there. Like I want to take some dart zone stuff, take some of the, take some of the higher. I mean, honestly, I would play, I would play anything from low, low FPS too high. I kind of enjoy it all for different reasons, but I would love to take all the dart zone stuff. That's, you know, getting between that, between the Nexus pro and all that between the 150, 200 range, I just think that would be a blast to play up there. I've been meaning to talk to them because I feel like that could be kind of a cool, you know, that could be kind of a cool thing for them to just have someone else in with a different, right. you know, with a different thing. That's, that's not really any work for them to have, uh, you know, if I rent it and take up my stuff. So yeah, yeah I mean, chat with them at some point, it'd be fun. Yeah, it'd be, I love the look of it. Like just seeing. Like, that would definitely be cool, especially if, um, I mean, every time I go to one, I bring every blaster that I have so that other people can use it. So even if the, all the paintball guys were there or the uh, airsoft guys, as long as they get their hands on a blaster, they could participate as well. For sure. How does dark cleanup go at a big event? Uh, we call it a dart sweep. Um, I, I'll use the mm -hmm. I'll use the tournament, uh, the finals, for example. Um, we would shoot 4,000 half length darts in between dart sweeps <laughs> and, uh, we would have to pick them up by hand, but with like 10 people, it takes, I don't know, less than 10 minutes. It's just lots of squats. You get a sore booty after that. Yeah. Yeah. And like for HVZs and stuff too, in between missions, a lot of times you'll just get, you know, we get people kind of yelling dart sweep and people picking up but they encourage people to pick up as you go to because you just you know otherwise that'd be the event there's just so much to pick up because i mean they are you know it's 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 foam it's reusable it's all great but it is foam we don't want to leave it 
We don't want to leave it out on the ground and leave it around. You got to pick it up. Right. Um, early stages of the tournament. Uh, I would, I don't know if we can even say early stages of the tournament. We're early, early, early stages. Uh, 20, 2023 budget is going on right now. So that I would, yeah, we'll use the early, early. <laughs> your your ears were burning. You heard tournament and just gravitated over to over to TikTok. That was impressive. Early, early, yeah. Maybe maybe in about a month we'll be at early, and then you know January we'll just call it. We're in the stages, so we can eliminate earlies by the month. Associated with end war again. Are you talking about the tournament? I'm assuming. Because I'm not sure how we're what, what we're planning on doing with all of that. So again, early early stages. Um, I'm sure that for FoamCon we'll we'll set up a booth, but I don't know that uh, that's just a lot in one weekend, um, especially for each individual team. And um, Drac was running that stuff, but we'd love to be there. I'm uh, as the TikTok guy, as the social media manager. I want to go to every event I can. I just don't know if we will intertwine as much as we were last time yeah it, i mean that that was kind of i mean it was kind of a bit of a mixed thing it was it was cool that it was going on at the same time because i got to see some of it because i was already at end war but it also by the time the tournament day came around i was, I was just i was beat and i mean i think a lot of people the probably you know probably affected people watching it maybe because they're just hitting the road or heading heading home but but at the same time did get to see it because it was there but Right. A lot of work for anyone who is doing the end war thing and then playing in the tournament. Oh yeah, it was definitely there were quite a few. It was definitely a lot. I I think I got there. I don't remember the dates now, but we got there, spent the night, got up, was there for qualifier four. I mean, we were there from sun up to sundown, and then the next day we had foam con again, sun up to sundown, on our feet the whole time, and then we had in war walking on our feet the whole time. So I can't imagine. Uh, doing all of that and trying to compete in the finals, you know, for some big prize money, be exhausted. Yeah, for for sure. <laughs> I saw that my pal, my pal Matt was like, when he was talking about dart sweep, he's like, you need you need some you need some you need some ball grabbers. He meant nut grabbers. There's a thing called the weasel nut grabber. If you fire any round ball rounds, like rival rounds or the dart zone round foam one. There's a there's a thing called the weasel nut grabber. You can look it up on Amazon. It's meant for picking up walnuts, and that's one of the best things there is for picking up uh, round balls. So do yourself a favor, get yourself a weasel nut grabber. Plus, it has a fun name. Yeah, I have one. It's very handy. Yeah, we have to come up with a way to pick up full length and half length darts. Um, I know Nerf oh, tried, right. but <laughs> there is that Nerf vacuum, boy. It's uh, I don't ha I don't have one. I don't have one. I was as tempted as I was, but that would just be if I'm going to have something that's just a wall hanger. I don't know that I want it to be the Nerf the Nerf vacuum. Yeah, I mean the they have that Rolly one too. Um, or is that what you're talking about? Uh, that's what I'm talking. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, it has they like call a it the vacuum. Thing. Yeah, or maybe that's just me calling it a vacuum. But it oh. it, it had vacuum vibes. Uh, well, it doesn't. Uh, <laughs> that's grass the dart, work. The dart rover. The greatest thirty dollars of all time. That's what it is, the Dart Rover. I, 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 what, what you need, what you need is the Dart Rover, and then that Nerf scooter, and then you're living the, you're living the Dart Sweep life. Yeah, bring a bunch of young guys that can pick up a lot. That's the best way to do it. And then if you really want to go further, um, you say whoever brings me the most darts in this bucket wins something like a lollipop. <laughs> I've always had pretty good luck at, at running parties and stuff. Like people are usually pretty good about picking up, picking up darts and at events too. People have generally, generally been pretty good. You get a few people who are just kind of like, who are just hanging out, socializing, pretending that they forgot to pick up, but most people are pretty good. It doesn't take, if you have enough people, it doesn't take very long. It's fine. Right. I mean, if you go on the, on the field with 50, like if you have the Tomcat and you shoot 50 half links, if you pick up your 50, you know, you're doing your share. Yeah, for sure. 
you got a question here. What got you introduced to Nerf? Uh, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to not do my patented short answer where I talk too long and do an actual short answer. The actual short answer is start of the pandemic, more time at home with the kids. We played a little bit with like old Nerf blasters, but I got a little bit bored. Then I get in a rival because rivals a little faster, um, and got a bunch of those. And then it's actually that's kind of a that's kind of a cool segue because uh, I do like talking about modded stuff. I went from a rival blaster to finding out of darts and I just recently made what was like my Holy grail of mod projects. I bought a hurricane kit from out of darts. This is an old rival Zeus and out of, and Luke at out of darts created this kit that would hold almost a hundred rounds, blows them through with air power. And it is, it is just a ton of fun. I'm going to, well, you know what? I'll fire a few this way and then I'll turn my camera because this thing is goofy fun. Let me let me, let me turn it here. That's, it is just, that's insane. And it just it looks it just looks. I'm gonna try to hold it in a way where you guys can see. Ugh, there we go. Let's make a mess here. So once I saw, once I saw stuff like that, that people were doing things like that, I was like, this is a cool hobby. And then I started, you know, and then I started doing some spring mods, came across the dart zone stuff too, where I was like, oh, okay, these are actually like, we're going way past 70 feet per second. And again, I say all this as someone who really enjoys playing stock stuff too. Like I, 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 I plink around with stock blasters, like slower blasters all the time, but it's, I don't know. It was it was cool. It was just cool to see what people were doing, like all the all the kits and all that stuff. Like that hurricane kit when I started, I was like, oh man, it would be so cool to be able to do stuff like that. I didn't know how to solder, didn't know anything about electronics. I was like, I couldn't even start that project. So it's cool a couple years later to be able to, you know, put that together in a night and you know put it together like you would put together a puzzle. It was it was super fun. Right. I call it. Uh, I built my first computer uh, during the COVID era. And there I called it adult. I called it adult Legos, and I see modding as the same way. A hundred, yeah, hundred percent. I would say the exact same thing. Like, I don't know. Everyone's uh, everyone's kind of done for the night. I come down to my my Nerf uh, my Nerf layer, my Dart layer here, and end up just modding, like grabbing something and and modding it, and take or taking it apart and seeing what's up. So yeah, it's definitely. Yeah, we're, we're during COVID when everyone else is getting into puzzles. Uh, I was taking apart uh, blasters. Yeah, lots of puzzles. Yeah, mine was uh, building the computer. Uh, I've never, I never did it, and I was just like, "All right, YouTube, let's figure this out." Yeah, I mean that's yeah, and that's it's it's super super cool. <laughs> all, all the geek, I don't think he sleeps much. I I don't sleep as much as I probably should. Uh, I'll definitely be working on stuff and then be like, "Oh, it's." it's really late now oh no so it, that's how it you happens. know you love what you're doing is when you uh you start something at like nine o'clock and then you blink and it's two in the morning for sure for sure yeah you you learn fast when you're doing that but it's maybe maybe not the healthiest way oh, to do it but... sure. well uh i'm gonna throw this out here again tomorrow we are gonna be posting on the dart zone blaster channel a video with me and anthony here um, attacking a monster or Halloween costume or something. All you have to do is duet it in your Halloween costume or monster costume or whatever. And um, on November 2nd, we will find a winner or decide a winner and give a Tomcat away. So be sure to follow Dart Zone and duet the, duet the video. November 2nd is, um, we'll announce it on November 2nd, but like I always tell my brother who's in college right now, uh, don't wait till the last second. <laughs> Should be pretty good. Looking forward to seeing them. It's uh yeah, I'm I'm sure it's good odds. Get your video get your video in. And then we uh want, we want you want to do a couple? You do a couple. We want we won't stop you. Yeah, we uh we'll do as many as you want. Um if you make us laugh or you know, have amazing acting skills, you're the next Leo. Um you might win. Uh, we're also doing another giveaway with Ri-Fi. Um, we're giving away a dictator. Um, it's on our channel as well. 
And uh, all you have to do with that one is show us your best trick shot. Stitch it and show us your best trick shot. On the outside chance that I win that, I'm going to paint it up and give it away. <laughs> nice. nice. All right. Well, we got to see uh, see what you bring to the table. That'd be pretty good. Keep the giveaway rolling. I like it. I got a coyote or something out here. <laughs> Darts aren't going to work on that. That's that's not good. No, I don't think so. Well, um, again, I thanks for coming and having. I guess I came to your stream this time, um, but I appreciate uh, you taking the time to talk to me. Yeah, for sure. No, it was a it was a lot of yeah, it was a lot of fun. Uh, definitely, definitely a good time. Thanks to everyone who came who came by. Uh, yeah, I was kind of, I kind of started the stream a few minutes early to figure some stuff out connecting wise. And I think it's, I think we're, I think if we, inv whoever invites each other, I think we're streaming for us both. So hopefully yeah, that worked out okay. It's no difference. I just, we're both learning. <laughs> we are uh, lots of, lots of experience other places, but haven't done a lot of lives on TikTok, but more, more to come, more yeah. to come. All right. Well, uh, November 2nd, we'll go live again and announce the winner. Sounds good. All right, All right man. Have a good night. Joining. All right. See you later. You have a good night, too. Bye, everyone.